Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I wanted to uh, elaborate on one more thing with the equipment system, um, and that is, you know, kind of attaching, uh, you know, pieces of armor or whatever to our character um, that will go on both sides of the character, such as like, you know, arm pieces or you know, boots or whatever. Um, so we'll just focus on like an arm piece for this example, uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do. Right, is we want to go into our character and we're going to um, kind of change up a little bit of the uh, you know the the stuff the code in our attach equipment okay so we'll open this up okay and right now the way we have it set up is that um, if it's an arms item right it'll just attach it wherever we tell it to okay um, but this doesn't account for the fact that we could have you know items on um, both sides right you could definitely create um, an item that you know is auto you know is already aligned correctly with your character, um, but that might be a little difficult. So this will just be you know a, I guess a simpler way of sorts. All right. So what we're gonna do is well first we need to alter the armor info. Okay. We need to add some more attach points that will be specific to what we need. So we'll go back to our interactables. Go to armor. Go to armor info, and we're gonna add two new variables here. This one will be called um, you know, right attach point. This will be called left attach point. And we'll rename this one here to main attach point. Okay, so we'll change these to name variables. So we'll save that, close out. Now we just need to hit compile and save. And now you know we see in the armor info, right, it's added these new variables, but we'll come back, we'll come back to this function. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the base armor now. Okay, we need to compile that. Okay, and now let's go ahead and um, well, let's double check first just that our other pieces here are working okay. So we'll check, and of course, you know, the torso slot, it's still set up correctly, but now, you know, of course, it has the right and left attach points. So um, if we have something like, you know, uh, arm, arm guards or whatever, then you know you won't want to use the main attach point you'll use the right and left attach points and change their slots accordingly so let's look at doing that first thing click the base armor right click create a child blueprint class and we'll call this bp underscore arm guards okay open that up and now in here for the mesh let's go ahead and select our arm guard okay so we've got this little arm guard thing okay now go select self again, and um, we're going to you know change its slot here to arms, okay, and then we will change its image here to you know whatever might work for arms, maybe that, okay, and then we'll we'll just call this I don't know steel arm guards. I don't know I don't know much about armor, uh, but there we have that. So now we need to create the attach points for it. Okay, so we'll go back out to the content browser, find our character, and find his skeletal mesh. Okay, and we're going to add two socket points, you know, sockets on each side for those arm guards to spawn in. Okay, so we'll go to the skeleton, and, you know, we'll start with the, uh, the right arm. Okay, so we'll go to, let's do lower arm right, okay, because this will be like a lower arm piece. Okay, so we'll right click, add a socket, and we'll call this you know, uh, right arm slot. Okay, now with it selected, let's add a preview asset and add the arm guard. Oops, spelt that wrong. Arm guard. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, reposition it really quick and then I'll show you the values that I came up with. Alright, so here is uh, what I came up with, right? Just kind of positioned like this on the arm. You can see all the values here if you want to enter them in yourself. Um, but now let's go ahead and do the left arm. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go uh, to the upper arm, or no, lower arm, left, right click, add a socket, which we will call the left arm slot. Okay, and then we'll add a preview asset again called arm guard. Oops, that's my bad. Arm guard, add it. Okay. So now we can go ahead and adjust that again. So, all right, so we've got that one done, and you can see, you know, all the values here. 
right? Now, if you want to make them, you know, perfectly symmetrical, um, you just need to, you know, kind of pay attention to, you know, how things rotate around in relative space, and then, you know, just rotate it correctly. And that's usually just going to be either changing a negative to a positive or adding 180 degrees. Um, same kind of thing here with the location, you know, probably just changing a positive to a negative. Um, so that's usually what, what happens, right? Because you're going across, um, you're, you're crossing over the y, uh, the y axis here. So um, that's just something to keep in mind if you want to make things symmetrical. Okay, so we've got that done. Um, now, I mean, we can go ahead and get rid of these previews. Uh, we just need to keep in mind the left arm slot and right arm slot. Okay, so we'll go back to our BP arm guards here, and for the right attach point, we will call it, you know, right arm slot, and we'd call this one left arm slot. We can compile and save and, you know, save that. Okay, so we've got this one item here that can be attached to both parts. All right, now I'm just going to save, you know, our mesh here. Okay, and we can close out of this. And now, you know, back in our character, in this attach equipment function, what are we going to do, right? Well, first thing, let's locate our arms item, okay? So we know it's the third one here. Let's create, you know, some space. Um, I mean, we technically don't really need to, but it's just, it's nice to have some space. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this arms item and actually make, you know, split it into, I guess, two items. So this one we will rename here to, you know, right arm item. Okay, so that should change the name of all of them. Then we can duplicate it and call it left uh, arm item. Okay, and then let's just move it up here so it is a little more organized. Okay, so we have our right and our left arm. And basically all we're going to do is for the left arm, we're just going to, you know, copy all this code here and paste it on the end. All right, hook this up, and we'll change the right arms here to left arm item. So right arm item goes to left arm. Same thing here, right arm goes to left arm. Now the only difference is we now have these different attach points, right? So uh, for the right arm, okay, we're going to want to use the right attach point. So we'll plug that in instead of the main attach point. I mean, and you can untick these other ones since you don't really need them. Uh, but that, you know, it's not 100% necessary. It should still be fine. All right, now for the left arm, we are going to attach the left arm socket. And again, you can undo those other ones. And so now, if we go and attach, you know, our item, right? Oh, I forgot. We need to connect the class, okay? Because we'll connect the class all the way down here, you know, because it's the same class as our arm slot. So, you know, you could add some reroute nodes to kind of maybe have it extend from here instead. So maybe we'll do that. Plug it in like so. It's a little less confusing, I guess, that way. All right. So basically, when we determine that the item that we've picked up and used is, you know, and equipped is an arms, you know, slot, then it'll go and it'll attach a, oops, a right arm and a left arm. Okay, so it'll spawn it, attach it to those two places, okay? Then what is it going to do, right? Well, or then what do we need to do? Well, we also need to go into unattach equipment, and we need to add now at the arms one, okay? When it's an arms item, we need to add the left arm as something to remove. Okay, so we'll get it, and we can plug it into the same destroy actor, and that will work out nicely. So we'll plug it in right there. Okay, and that's actually good to go, okay? So now, if you want to do the same thing for, like, feet, you know, that's literally, it's the same exact process. That's all you do, okay? You create a right foot, a left foot, add the correct slots that you need, and then, you know, in attach equipment, just add on, you know, the spawning of the other one. Okay, so now let's just go make sure that our, uh, our other dude, um, the character recorder, will update as well. So we'll go to the scene captures, open up the character recorder, okay, and we'll go to attach item. Okay, let's find the arms. So here it is. Okay, and we'll just select all of this. Oh my gosh, I'm having struggling today. Okay, and then we'll just you know duplicate it out here. Plug it in like so. 
Now we just need to rename the arms item here to you know, right arm item. And then right click, duplicate it, create a left arm item. Alright, then we're going to use, you know, make sure you're on the right one, the right arm item. Go over and we're going to say, we're going to plug in the right attach point. Unuse the other ones. Now for, you know, do the same thing here. Take the this right arm and convert it to the left left arm item. I'll move that up just so it's more organized. Convert it to the left arm item again. And convert this one to the left arm item. And then finally, of course, plug in left attach point. Okay. There you have it. There you go. And then, of course, we need to make sure we plug in the class again. I continually forget that, so that's my apologies, guys. Um, but that's just, you know, to kind of just highlight that, you know, make sure that you plug in your class as well. Uh, that's important to do. Okay. So now that we've done that, um, let's go to the unattached item. And similarly, you know, add the left arm item next to the right arm and then destroy that as well. So uh, everything should be good to go now. Let's go ahead and add our little arm guard item. So here it is. We save. So if we press play, right, we've got our dude. We can go pick up that arm guard item. Oops. There we go. Now it's in our inventory. Okay, and if we use it, right, it should add to both his arms and then add to our preview. So we use it. There we go. There it is. And it's, you know, on our live character there too. So then we can unuse it, of course, and it will remove it. And now, you know, we've kind of got a full fledged character being created, right? We can add all these different things. And we're starting to get, you know, kind of a cool character dude. Now, of course, you know, the objects here are all static meshes, so it doesn't look the best. Um, but, you know, we can look at changing them to skeletal meshes later on. But anyways, um, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has helped. Um, if you liked the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.